it's your girl Savvy Young coming back at you with another video. Welcome back, you guys. So today we are going to be doing a bundle and a closure bleach and dye job. And we are basically just going to get right into this video. I'm going to start bleaching. You guys are not going to really see me in this video. All y'all going to see is the hair. That's all y'all need to see, player players, all right? So um, as long as y'all see how it's done, that's all that matters. So let's just get right into it. Boom, boom, boom. Get you some gloves. But actually, I'm going to wait to put the gloves on, but I am going to take them out. But get you some gloves to put on. Sit those to the side. I have my bundles right here. And I have my closure right here. I'm going to open my closure up. But the thing is, is I am not actually going to bleach the closure, this, like the knots, bleach the knots or the closure until I've actually did all of this first because I don't want the closure to process faster than the actual hair. Do you get what I'm saying? I want it to like, go together anyway so you're gonna have your powdered bleach i got the kaleidoscope no not kaleidoscope <laughs> i got the um kaleida colors um bleaching powder and it's for um dark hair only then i got my 30 volume developer and then i have my 40 volume developer. I have four bundles and a closure. The closure is 16 inches. The two bundles are 20 and then two bundles are 18, I wanna say. So let's just open this up. You're gonna need two cups and two brushes. And let me open this up. It's crazy, but what I do is I open this bag and then I really just, instead, instead of digging it out the bag, I just pour it in the, in the thing. It's easier for me that way. So I just pour everything out of the bag into the jar. Cool. Oh, me wearing this black. Hopefully it doesn't bleach my clothes. Anyway, so like I said, you're gonna have your two brushes. Take your scooper. And me, I just eyeball it, honestly. So I take a scoop. Honestly, I'm not going to use that much because what I want to do is layer it out. So I'm going to take, that's it for now. So I'm going to take a little bit and then I'm going to do my 40 volume developer first. Okay. So I'm just going to take it. Let me just sit the, all of that off to the side. And take that off. I'm gonna take it and just mix it in there. So I'm doing 40 first because I actually just really want the shade to be like a, maybe like a highlighted shade of parts like darker and lighter when I bleach it. So I want some colors to, I want parts to lighten up quicker than other parts of the hair. So that's why I'm doing 40 first and I'm really not doing that much of it either. So just take it and stir it up. 
I'm gonna just do just a little bit more. I wish probably like a half a spoon. And when you mix in this, you wanna just get it in like, into like a paste-like consistency. Scrape the sides to get all the powder. that is good so now I'm gonna put my gloves on because it's time to start bleaching honey hopefully my um, my nails don't rip through this there we go put your gloves on Okay, cool. Basically what I'm gonna do is take each bundle and start to dye it. So you wanna comb it out some. I'm just gonna separate it into certain parts because I want it to have like maybe just like a certain type of effect to it. So I'm just gonna see what I come up with with this. Okay, so now you're gonna take some of your bleach, right? And just put it on there. So now what I'm gonna do is take this bowl and put some powder in here. Two scoops. And I'm gonna take my thirty volume developer and pour it in there. In certain parts, I'm gonna put 30. In other parts, I'm gonna put 40.
okay? I'm gonna take that one and just sit it off to the side and work on this next one. Right now, I really just want to see like what I come up with. So it's really not, I wouldn't even say it's really a how to, it's more of just like a, you know, you can get the gist of what I'm doing by watching, but really it's like, let me see what I can create, you know?
Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is take this. And just place it over the lace. I am not gonna leave this on here long. I'm probably gonna only leave it on here for maybe like 10 or 15 minutes. When you're doing it, you don't wanna like push it too hard, um, but you do wanna make sure it's on there to be able to bleach the knots, but you don't wanna like push it down real hard to where it like bleaches all of the hair underneath. So you kinda just wanna stack it on top and that's why I said um, in the beginning to just make it like pasty, to make it like a paste, because you don't want it to be like just dripping, um, like too loose to where it doesn't, um, I meant to where like it starts to just drip through. You don't want that. You just want it to just sit on top. And there we go. So like I said, I'm gonna let that sit and let everything sit and then I'll be back with you guys. You guys will see the rinse off and everything like that. So I'll be back.
want to thank you guys so so much for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video um stay tuned for the next part of this which will be part two i'm gonna be uploading that video right after this one and you'll see me dyeing the hair see you guys next time